set with them hands, with them holes, with them toes, you know what I'm saying? In two sectors of YouTube that you could say I intersect with, the martial arts sector and the black community sector, especially since I am a black person who teaches martial arts at community centers in predominantly black areas. I've noticed, actually I've noticed three things. One, I've noticed a concern about race and racial politics. Number two, I've noticed from some people, not everybody, and I don't even think it might be a majority of people, but I do think some people feel that if you are fat, you can't be a leader because physical fitness is something that they value in their leadership slash teaching, or teachers. And both of those are actually subsets of the main thing, that's realness. People in my sectors feel that you have to be real. You have to be authentic. In the martial arts sector, it's, is your style, is your teaching, is your technique authentic? Is the tradition that you're trying to impart and share something that's legitimate or authentic? Things that are new or things that appear to be a maverick, unlineaged if that was a word, those things will be viewed as fake in the martial arts sector. In the black community part of it, people they feel like are not being true to whatever their version of the black community is, is deemed as fake. So, on YouTube, in the martial arts, the, the main thing, one of the main people that gets attacked for his authenticity is Freddie Lee. But that's because Freddie Lee started off attacking all these other people. And then in turn, he started getting attacked himself. And Freddie doesn't also like fat people. And I'm fat, so. That piqued my attention. And honestly, to be truthful, it really didn't offend me. I just felt like that's something I could debate him on because I was actually just fresh out of ideas. Now in the black community sector, people have been attacking someone else that I watch and that I've gotten ideas from. That's the man who runs the advice show, Phil. I was going to make a video that was strictly about the whole Phil thing, but I don't really want to take sides with that because my criticism is bigger than whatever color his wife is. Because if, Now, if you want to know how I feel about that, I don't care. And if I remember to do it, I'm going to put a William Shatner clip yelling at people at the Star Trek convention here just to show how much I don't care. Get a life, will you people? <laughs> I, 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 mean, I, I mean, for crying out loud, it's, it's just a TV show. <laughs> I mean, look at you. Look at the way you're dressed. You, 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 you've turned an enjoyable little job that I did as a lark for a few uh, years into a colossal waste of time. But I, I don't I don't care what color someone's spouse is. It it doesn't matter to me with community work or with the martial arts. I don't care. I care about what you are going to teach me and teach others. That's all I care about. But my main thing when I talk about the big criticism, and this is aimed at both groups, is this. Why don't you just Support the people that are around you and that you know. Instead of worrying about what a distant figure on the internet is doing, unless you're doing like I am using it to, um, to get con YouTube content, there's really no reason for you to be all upset and disappointed because you don't know those people. You know what? If you would support the people in your neighborhoods, that's how you would be able to get authenticness and realness. Be it community work, be it community activism, or be it martial arts. If you want a, the martial arts instructor that's teaching your kids to be real, help him or her get training so that they can become more real. Or you know what, and, this, and I told someone this right here, I said to someone last week, 
one of my students because there's been some issues with classes and numbers and things like that. Oh my gosh, community centers want certain number of people enrolled in a class to prove that the community wants it. I told them, I said, honestly, the only way I got a martial arts class to be in existence and now a martial arts style to be in existence that's done the way I really think it should be done is that I had to do it myself. I had to create it myself. I had to become the teacher. That's the only way that I want to get the message to be out exactly how I want it. That means I'm going to have to take all the lumps, the bruises, and the criticisms and everything else that comes with that. And so that's what I say to you, people in the martial arts who are concerned about people's realness, people who do community work in general, but with the black community in particular. If you're truly concerned about how real someone is, how authentic someone is, how true to the game someone is, if you want a really true teacher, you have to make that person that's in the mirror be the teacher that you want the world to have. Because that's the only way you can guarantee that it's done. Mahatma Gandhi, who didn't like black people, said, we need to be the change that we wish to see in the world. And that is the way it's got to be. I know Gandhi didn't like Africans. I'm of African descent. But that statement was good. Everybody likes Bruce Lee. Now, I'm going to tell you now. People who do conscious work or pro-black work or community work, all that stuff, they love Bruce Lee. Okay, People in the martial arts love Bruce Lee. But everybody loves Bruce Lee. If I wanted to escape from Bruce Lee and his influence, I couldn't if I tried. So everybody loves Bruce Lee. So let's take a page from the Bruce Lee playbook. Absorb what is useful. Disregard the rest. So the next time you're tempted to feel upset or disappointed or you don't like somebody's teaching and teacherness and you have a problem with their authenticity, Take what they give you that's useful, disregard the rest. And that way, you will never lose sleep over it. You'll never go, oh my goodness, they're disappointing me. They're letting me down. If they don't know you personally, it's not their job to not disappoint you. And let me go even deeper. I think some of y'all just got some. Some of you guys and, and girls have some daddy issues that you need to rectify. And some of you have some issues with people who are like, because um, they kept jumping on filibus, right? Who are overweight. Some of you have some issues with people who dare to be different and dare to start their own thing. So, like Freddie. So, just stop. Stop looking over there. Stop looking off there. On the, the, off in the distance. There are plenty of people around you, right there, where you live, who could use your support. Take your anger that you have towards these distant figures and transform it into doing something for the people who live near you. So thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people who like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts and about the uh, community. And peace.